Hello, I'm Edgelism, and welcome back, of course, to Kingdom Come Deliverance, a relatively realistic medieval RPG. Today, we're going to continue the main quest because we, uh, we haven't done so in a little bit, and I feel like doing some main quest stuff. So, our energy's getting a little bit low. We might pick up this main quest and then go sleep. But... We should have a mission to pick up. In a second. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, there we go, right. Turn us around. Bring her back home. And yeah, we are getting tired. You see we've got the tired icon there. Right. Let's do this. Hello! My lord. I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? My men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Probislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just <laughs> it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Curva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... ...worth. <sighs> Curva! Fuck! <sighs> Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Dopperdell. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Oh, dear. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Mate, if you count on me, make some seriously bad life decisions. Okay, right. Well, we need to nap. We've got a long way to travel to, so probably a nap first. Whee! And then I'll probably make the mistake of traveling overnight. You all do, 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 do,
people have asked me what that is, by the way. I believe that it's the British Grenadiers um, marching song? Something like that. Hey, watch it. Lout. What is it? What is that? I uh, actually I can't eat food right now. I'm not I'm not fully ready for food. Sadly. Ooh, Polly Polly. Be a bit more careful. What well get the out the way then, you're, you're standing in the middle of the <sighs> Hey! Right, don't I have like a bed that I can use here? There we go. Sleepy time. It's the middle of the day, but hey, it's like my sleep pattern in real life. Okay, we're going to sleep until midnight. Then we'll have to eat some food. Then we'll travel. We should get there at morning. If we get intercepted on the way, though, we have to fight in the dark again, which is great. It looks great on YouTube. Okay. We'll get a quick bite. I'm thinking maybe eat the food that the uh, refugees have put out. Because they don't need it. Also, it's more accessible. So I'm, that's on my way. Nah, let's not eat the food from the refugees. It is just en route, but we'll actually God save you, we'll be good. Hi. Have you got food at this time? Hello? Right. Dark without a light. Quick, quick, go. Uh, hi. Be a bit more. Careful. There we go. I can open the door. Doors in this game are fun. You still, you've been cooking for a long time. Hey. Seriously, are we all going to just stand in this hey, section it. of corridor blocking the route? Both these days. Both these days, standing in a section of corridor blocking it all off, being really annoying. Right. It's quite a big town for them to attack. Seriously, I'm trying to... Oh wait, I've got to zoom up to here. Okay, how do I... There we go, fast travel. That's not annoying at all. Betting we're going to be ambushed en route. Probably better than 50-50. That said, we've got through like two thirds of the route already, so. Is it going to still be dark when we get there? Yeah, it will be just. Just to sit around or something for people to get up in the morning. I mean, I'm here for a pretty important task. You think people would get up in the middle of the night to talk to me? But no. Uh, am I just meant to be in Mehoyed? Yep. Don't know who I'm meant to be talking to. That's that's great. I'm gonna wait Only until. Creep around in the dark without a light. I'm not creeping around. I'm literally stationary on my horse. I don't think you can say you're creeping if you're on a war horse. Seems a little bit like really. And I'm in full plate. But I don't exactly crate, mate. More blundered loudly. Also, we could do more food. I don't know what's going on in this house, but I can see orange, which makes me think that it might have food. I don't know whose food it is, but it's now mine. Okay, can't go that. God damn it, wheelbarrow. What's this weird cross on the door? Hello, eating from your food, mate. Thank you. Hope you don't mind. Can I talk to you? No? Okay. You're not very helpful. Do all these doors have, like, crosses on them? No? Okay. Hi. Where have you got this prisoner? God be with you. What's happened here? Things are bad. 
very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands, barely come out of that alive, and now the plague. Plague, you say? Oh. Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It's a gruesome sight. That's what the door's for. I shouldn't have gone in that house. Probably shouldn't have eaten the food. Whoops. Tell me more about this plague. It sounds terrible. I mean, it's plague, Worse yeah. Worse than you can imagine. The whole stud, livestock, sheep, chickens, all dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melikar's old woman's taken to her bed and it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother, more and more. I'm sorry to hear it. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. You seem very matter-of-fact about that. A minute ago you were like, ooh. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. So near the stables. Who are Melikar and Straw? That's right, you're not from around here, are you? Melikar's the we one looking like after things around here now. Before that, it was down to Smil from the Neuhof stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or was, I should say. The bandits saw to that. His old man isn't taking it well. I'm looking for a Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias? The brigands got him, poor lad. He's lying wounded at the stud. I heard the bandits didn't get very far here, though. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross and woke the whole village. We even captured one. He's tied up now at Melikar's place. But then the disease came. Who attacked you? I don't know. Some bandits. Ever since Scarlet's was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills, he handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail and we ambushed the bastards. Good on you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young Straw something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Thanks. That'll be all for now. Okay. There's a lot of things to be carried. You just checking that fence. Oh, okay. That's that's kind of cool. Uh, right, there's a lot of things to be done here. Um, not that one. J. Right. Pestilence, the horse that bolted. No. A friend in need. No. Uh... Okay, I think we've got all the good ones. Marked. Right, we're probably going to do Pestilence since we're here. Find out what this plague's about. I mean, I know I said, oh, we're going to do the... Oh, hello, Melika. Wait, you're passing through the Are fence. Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Everyone else knows Henry, that. Envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradze won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. Emissary of Saradzig, full plate armor. Come on, mate. Listen, it's not your place to question Saradzig's orders. I don't give a shit about your damn scabies. Take me to the prisoner at once. Scabies? Who the fuck do you think you are? My wife is dying and you make jokes about scabies. Calm down. I am calm. But I'll let you in on a secret. That bastard we captured also has the scabies. He's so feverish you won't get a word of sense out of him. 
So if nothing gets done about the plague, he's doomed along with the rest of us. And what exactly do you think should be done? If you've got an idea, out with it. I'll be glad to help. If not, we're just wasting time chatting. Well, it isn't much of a plan. Just a straw clutched by a drowning man. So tell me, what have you got to lose? There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Okay, so... I guess we go and find the house with the thing on the door again? Hello? That's why they wouldn't talk to me before. Probably not a good idea to have eaten the plague victim's food. What? Have you come for my wife? You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw! You've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife. You bastard. Calm down, Straw. You're telling me to calm down. Why the fuck should I be calm? Because if you don't calm down, I'll make you regret it. Oh, <laughs> now we're talking. Come on, then, you bastard. Come on. Okay. Okay. Yep. I'm in plate armor, mate, so... Just... Keep punching. Taking your door key, taking your groschen, taking- Help! Arrest that thief! Ah! Taking your trunk key as well. Do -do 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 -do. Can't stay long in there. Hello. Yeah, stop. Surrender. Yeah. I'm trying to surrender. Stop. Wrong button. Whoops. Gotcha. Now I'll fix you good and proper. You'll soon learn what justice means. What? Oh. That brawling and all the rest? It means nothing to you? Really? Well, the law takes a different view. Hello, this bugs. definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. All right, that's enough. Maybe you didn't realize, but I'm in the service of the Lord of Ratai. So you better keep that in mind. 14 in that. Try your fairy tales on someone else. <sighs> there you go. All right, here you are. All right, just make sure it doesn't happen again. And spread your arms and legs. Let's see. Oh. Whoa! The Whoa! Oh, get it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I'll slaughter you! Your lucky day, you sniveling Fuck wretch. Get out of my sight. Why are you still attacking me? The game still thinks I'm in combat as well. You talk to the wife. Hmm. Fever. Just like Melchar's wife. Hmm. Fever. Just like Melchar's wife. Okay, right. Stolen keys are useful. Oh, hello. 
Another lime door. Okay, she, he's dead, so Who I need to know symptoms. Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Anthony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Melikar said the dead should be buried at once. Tell me first. I need to go around other infected houses too. But then I'll be back and I'll help you. Thank you. But please do come back. I can't do it alone. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like it had been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. It must have hurt terribly. Thank you. Gotta dig a grave at some point, too. Okay. Are there any other, like, plague houses? Or it's just, like, general area for plague houses, I guess. Let's have a look around. Hello. Have any of you got a plague symbol on the door? Yes, you do. That's a lot of plague houses. Hi. The shop guard is just guarding the sh shop. Okay, hi. Lord, what are you punishing me for? Brother, dearest brother, is that you? Eight? Yes, it's me, your um, brother. My friend is nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fair. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait. You're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother, lock the door. They're back again. Please, God, no. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me. I'm your brother. I was gone for a long time. I've come back home for Advent, remember? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. God. I remember. Give me a drink of water, brother. Oh, I'm thirsty. Terribly thirsty. I feel like I'm burning in hell. I can drink a pitcher of water and right away I'm parched again. And you're still wearing like the hood and the overcoat, etc. Really? Brother? Oh. Are, are you here? Oh. Hi. Right. Wake up. Wake up. Punished. Okay, For you've got what? belly pain. I can see that. Can't get through that locked door. All right, so fever and belly pain. Possibly that dude's hallucinating or something. Like, he's really tripping. Or maybe he was like that beforehand, but that he's specifically certainly um, an interesting character. Belly pain, fever. I mean, fever's normally viral, but it can be bacterial. Um, belly pain, um, parasite, possibly bacterial range as well, obviously. Bacterial viral, sorry. The thing popped up, said, I got the ranger achievement. I was like, okay. Who else should I be talking to about this plague stuff? Is there any other, like, dwellings I missed? Are you serious? Serious, serious black. I haven't been in this house, have I? What? That's a ladder. Christ almighty! I can't stand oh. it anymore! Can you wake up? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Disappear? Okay. Okay, you're not being particularly useful here. 
You're not allowed inside. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. I want to go in. I hope I can be of help. I need to talk to that. Sorry. I urgently need to question that prisoner. People's lives depend on it. So does mine. Melikar will kill me if I let you in. I'll kill you if you don't. If you want to talk to the captive, you have to get permission from Melikar. Yeah, but apparently the captive can't talk to me, so why not let me in and just see that the captive can't talk to me? I think I'm being set up here. Hmm. Okay, we already have fever and belly pain. Dig a grave. I mean, where? Do I... Why do you want me to dig? Go up here. There we go. Just anywhere, or? I don't know where you want me to dig this grave, mate. Hi, where do you dig graves around here? Not even gonna... What the hell are not you doing? Wanting to ask you about where to dig graves, you... They aren't particularly helpful. Well, I think I've done all of them here. Apart from the people who don't want to talk to me, they're just frustrating. So... Those are shrines, so... Beehive. Is there any office place that's a grave? I mean, that might be a grave right there. Maybe can I just like click this to like dig a grave? No, it doesn't it doesn't say anything. Okay. I guess maybe I have to do that later, because I did say maybe I'd do that later. Let's travel. I do need to eat at some stage. No, actually I'm okay. I cause I ate the plague food. That was smart. <sighs> Hello, I am coming here to talk about plague victims. Okay, this way. It's an impressive castle. B. Here we go. Another one that's going to be taking food out of our mouths. Mate, you want to fight? I will fight you. And also I take food out of everyone's mouths. Okay, this is this is messy. There's a lot of people here that need healing. I don't want to look. I want to talk. Hi. Okay, fine. I'll look. Everything. Johanka? Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Well, uh, that depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes? Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Um... So can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. Hmm? How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? 
People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Can I give you 2,000 groschen? Because I could. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe. But they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. God, he's my trait. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. But what if they need to be pulled? Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that. Out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. I guess we'll do all the work then. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you liked. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry... I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. See, most of the game missions, I'm like, eh, just get some game to provide for these people. Oh, this game mission I might actually do. Tell me more about the situation here. That's all it. All right. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh, God. How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to find him. Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. I guess I've got a lot of stuff to do. But we can also have a look around and see if we can help people. 
Everything here is fine. Everything here is fine. Everything here is fine. Philip, from Scalit. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. He's not reacting. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hanka. Didn't I have like a load of perks and stuff about here. first aid and I said I could help? Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep! What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, and for God's sake, do it quickly. You'll sleep eventually. I'm not needed here. Yeah, shit. What's going on? Take your shoes off in bed, mate. You're not from Scalitz? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods, where any bandit or ruffian can set on us. I'll threaten him. Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. I'll try to find... Thank you. I mean, I could just threaten your chief person. Huh? Where? What's happening? You look all right. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the Cumans wound you? <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. Well, that's no use. I have bandages already. Oh, I need one more. Oh, I, really? I need ten? It's a lot of bandages. Okay, I guess, well, if we see bandages, and by that I mean murder people who have bandages. Hello. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the infirmarius here. Time was, I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now, I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. That's a lot of things to... Can I, can I buy bandages from you? I can. Awesome. That's a purple herb, right? I mean, I can always buy this in a minute. I'll grab that. Ooh, a treasure map. I'll grab that. Okay, right. Let's talk about all the things. Can you train me? Alchemy? Would you teach me more about... Certainly. I'm interested in more... Wouldn't you rather... Oh. I don't have the basics. Well. Okay. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I've... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? 
You're the infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him, but it seems he had some disagreement with Johanka, and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. What if he just dies? Can't you do anything? Won't the others have- Unfortunately not. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. I mean, I don't really wonder how can you- uh, He seems Even like a nice so, bloke. Conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. See? How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Do you know anything about herbs? Purple herbs? I'm not an expert, but I know a little something. Is it urgent? Well, one of the workers who was injured during construction would like to get back to work. He mentioned some purple flowers that would... Herbs. Oh, purple herbs that should help. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but you can have a look in the herbarium here. There won't be too many purple herbs for bruises and sprains. I'm guessing it's the one that you've got in your inventory, because... It's the only purple one you have in your inventory. What happened to Philip? Philip? He's unconscious. He's shivering and he has a fever. Ah, I didn't know that. When he first came here, he was fine. No wounds on him. He was escorting the others. Then he got worse and worse until he lost consciousness entirely. Ask Johanka. Maybe she'll know more. How are the wounded from Scalets? I mean, we were just talking Some about Some of them are well, others are dying. It's a good thing we have. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. Well, that's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long, and he always leaves unsatisfied. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. Actually... That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. That's what I've been doing already, but okay. Thank you. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Disease? Your hanker said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? <laughs> I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? About half the houses. No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Since the livestock, I'm guessing it's related to eating the livestock. Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens... And now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. I failed dig a grave. No one would tell me where to put the grave. So, where shall we start? 
Evidently, there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? I said that. The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Sickness Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue, so you can still be of use. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the proven classics, Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae, and Galen's magnum opus, the Ars Medicinalis. Okay. Also, I now have bandages. Hello, who are you? Oh, and who are you? There we go. Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the scallop. Do you know anything of- A little. I can manage the basics, but without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Okay, um... And what do you do? Mainly, I help Brother Nicodemus. Sometimes I have to hold... How long have you been... Since before the... Okay, so you're not really that much use. Cool, okay. Thank you. What do you do? Oh, wrong, well, I can't. Thank you. Right, let's go, let's go treat you. Got bandages. I have the bandages. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? I can do it myself. Um, I thought you were a blacksmith. Yeah. And a, a knight now. Time ago. It's quite but unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. Well, fine then. Fine then. Dude, I'm trying to help. Uh, What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. <sighs> I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it, then. One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to... Henry, for God's sake! Our neighbours are dying here. Your friends! There isn't time to waste on some construction worker's bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. <sighs> if he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scalitz years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. This is like Side Quest City. Okay, right, let's get straight in a man's leg. Are you holding him firmly? Aye. Right. Ugh. 
<laughs> Done. Right. I'm helpful. I'm a medic. I know what to do. I could sleep in hey, here with these people. What? Hello. Tell me more about. That's all I need to all know. Right. That's all I need to know. Okay. Right. We need to go complain to a custodian. Um, find out a load of stuff from the library about a load of different herbs. Find the right dosing from recipes and the cure in the books. Okay, so... In God's hand, help with the healing. 100 game meat. Find something for the insomniac to fall asleep. Get some healing herbs. That's a... Okay, right, sure. Um... C. Find some, or Father Simone's up there. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite a lot of tasks to do. Well, I guess. Oh, hello. Do we need to look at these people? He just needs to sleep. I'm not needed here. Okay, good to know. So yeah, we've got a we've got a long list of things to do. <laughs> More side quests! Yay! Uh, but we can also consult books, which is good, because we can read, so that helps. For now, though, this is where we're going to end the episode. Hopefully we can save some people. Maybe. We'll see. It does help that I've actually got a load of Healy Just traits. Just my luck to get stuck here with all the cripples. Meanwhile, Thomas and Pavel are probably playing dice up on the battlements. You're a bit of an ass, aren't you, mate? So, till next time, like, subscribe. If you do subscribe thing, do the notification with the bell thing, and then you hit, like, get all the updates, not just occasional, because YouTube's terrible. Uh, but until next time, stay shiny.